Hey, Mr. Muffin, Mr. Muffin Strange, Atlanta, Indiana. How are you today? Guess what? What? I just got a box of the new Lionel catalogs. They're not all here yet, but I went down and took one. And I'm down here at my workshop, and I thought I would walk you through it. At least the signature part of the catalog and on my video. So, the 2024 Lionel catalog. Obviously, this is the 20th anniversary of Polar Express. And so, we're making kind of a big deal out of Polar Express and the Berkshires. So, here we go. Here's the catalog. It's over 220 pages. They've got like everything in here. So we're gonna go through the catalog. Amy's gonna help me. I wanna do the signature portion, which is the O scale portion, front of the catalog. All right, so obviously the big news this year, Vision Line was the Triplex. You probably know about that already. That was announced in October, I think. And we'll see these next summer. They have the slipping rear wheels back here. Uh, so they're in the front of the catalog. You can take a look at them. This shows uh, three of them uh, in the Eries, different road numbers. Uh, there's four of those, and we're doing a custom run in the Erie without white wheels. Ours has got a black wheel, so you know that. And we're also doing a custom run Army, Dwight Eisenhower, road number 1944, D-Day road number. And so we're doing two custom runs in the triplexes. There's also a Denver and Rio Grande at the bottom of this page. And then on the next page, some more. Here's the Pilot Unpainted. Northern Pacific and this beautiful two-tone with the gray. It's just gorgeous. Virginia, and of course, they had one of these in real life, right? And then this is the Halloween one. And it's got glow-in-the-dark finish. It's pretty cool. And we'll see these next summer. All right, that's good. So then what do we got now? Well, we got the Big Boy Freight Set. I'm sorry, the Erie Triplex Freight Set, which you get an Erie Triplex and a whole bunch of cars. And the cars are all shown in the catalog. Now, since Lionel's making these cars in order to fill in this set, they're using the tooling to make some more cars, which you'll see being announced in this catalog. So the... Erie Vision Triplex Super Set. Uh, pretty cool. All right, next page. Steam engines. Yeah, let's talk about steam engines. Well, the big news was uh, the Berkshires, of course, right? Bringing back the Berkshire Polar Express. So nickel plate 755, nickel plate 765. There's a fantasy scheme in a blue nickel plate 777, this blue and silver. Fantasy schemes have sold really well, so there are a lot of people going to want that. Here's a Chesapeake in Ohio, 2765. Deloitte, Toledo, and Ironton, 705. And a Pier Marquette, 1225, right? And you all know the Pier Marquette, 1225 is the basis for the Polar Express. And so that'll be a really, really popular one. Uh, oh, yeah, before we go on, move on to that. So we're doing... Custom run, I got my page stuck, Amy. We're doing custom runs in the Berkshire as well. We're doing nickel plate 757, which is sitting in Bellevue, Ohio. It's being restored. And if you order one of those from us, you buy a nickel plate 757, we're going to donate $100 of your purchase price to the restoration of the engine. So that'll help. And then we're also doing L&N, Louisville, Nashville, Berkshire, 1951, I think, is the road number. We're doing an Erie, Berkshire, and we're doing a Wheeling and Lake Erie. So four custom-run Berkshires coming from the Muffins. Okay, next page, the H7. This is a great model. We haven't had it for a long time. <clears throat> I've got one of the original ones. So we're doing Chesapeake and Ohio in the, in the as-delivered scheme with the big number on the, on the Vandenberg... Vanderbilt Tender, the long Vanderbilt six-wheel tender. Chesapeake and Ohio with the white wheels. And this one, 1553, again, the long tender. And then this one's got a short tender. 1564 has got a four-wheel tender. And then down here is Chesapeake and Ohio, 1584, with a square tender. They call it an Allegheny tender, right, back here. And then up here, Rio Grande... H7, RF&P, RF&P actually borrowed uh, one of the CNO H7, so 
It's got the short Vanderbilt tender on it. And then two Union Pacifics. Union Pacific borrowed H7s as well with the square tender. We're also doing a custom run. It'll be like this one up here, except it'll be lettered for Pier Marquette, their sister railroad up in Michigan. And the Pier Marquette never borrowed an H7, but they could have. I mean, you know, and they would have loaned it to them because they're really nice guys. So, so we're doing a Pier Marquette custom run in the H7. All right, next page, 460. These are beautiful 460 Legacy Engines. $800 list price, really awesome. This is Jersey Central in the blue, New York Central and Hudson River, Western Pacific, Northern Pacific, and New York Central. And we're also doing custom runs, right? We're doing uh, Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy, CB and Q. We're doing Chicago, Great Western, we're doing, I gotta look at my cheat sheet, Erie. And we're doing Milwaukee. And I'm thinking about doing New York, Ontario, and Western. I haven't mentioned that yet, but I'm thinking about that. And the 460s. And then over here is the Baltimore, Ohio version, the Royal Blue Line with the passenger cars. Now you'll notice these are the passenger cars, the 64 foot passenger cars. The tooling came from MTH. But you'll notice it's been retooled. It has a covered vestibule at the end. Awesome. Really, really cool. So all these cars now have this covered vestibule. Beautiful. New addition to uh, those cars. Uh, so that's the Royal Blue set. Okay, then, very exciting, 442 Hiawatha. So there's a Lionel Store exclusive which is Lionel Line. So if you want one of those, you got to get it from the store. And then there's three road numbers in Milwaukee. This one's number four with the Hiawatha. Here are the passenger cars. These passenger cars have been retooled. Uh, beautiful, beautiful cars. They're, uh, I think, let me see. How, they're, they're aluminum cars. They're bringing back aluminum cars. And then this set, has got all of the sound in the observation car. So there's not a separate station sounds diner. All the sounds and so forth are in the observation car. And so there's a four car set and a three car set. The three car set is two coaches and a diner in this beautiful orange and red. Hiawatha, 442. Oh yeah, the front door is open. Somebody asked me today, yeah, they open. You can open the front doors and see into inside the boiler jacket there. Okay. Here's two more, right? This one's road number one, doesn't have the Hiawatha on the tender. And this one's road number two. And then these are the early passenger cars. It's decoration. Again, aluminum cars, sounds in the observation car, a four car set and a three car set. These are beautiful, okay? This, these are uh, Milwaukee Road. You listen, Dr. Jack, these are beautiful. You gotta get these, okay. Now, here's a version they decorated for Chicago Northwestern. Pretty awesome. The engine looks like the Chicago Northwestern uh, steamer. Obviously, it's a 442, but the paint scheme. And then again, Chicago Northwestern cars. Four car set and a three car set. The sounds are in the observation car. So that's, that's beautiful. Okay, what else? So they're doing a version in seaboard, kind of masked come up with a seaboard paint scheme and applied it to this engine and again aluminum passenger cars a four car set and a three car set the sounds are in the observation so you seaboard guys are going to love this and then over here is a up using the up is a challenger i think paint scheme and again matching passenger cars a four car set and a three car set Beautiful. All right. That's it for steam. Let's talk about diesel. So at the front here are the GP9s. They're going to do GP9s. And uh, here's Minneapolis and St. Louis, Norfolk and Western. I think that's blue. I'm not sure if it's blue or the black. Can't tell. Looks more mauve -y, Yeah. Like purpley. Kind of a, not the blue, it's kind of dark. Uh, Whatever color that is, that's gonna we're gonna do Bangor and a Roostock. 
Pennsylvania, and then they're also bringing out a super bass B unit. They've never, we've never had B unit tooling in a GP9 before, so there's no cab here, right? And this is the super bass, so you can get two road numbers in Pennsylvania in the super bass, two road numbers in Bangor and Aroostack, two road numbers in Norfolk and Western, two road numbers in Minneapolis and St. Louis, GP9s. And then on the next page, here's Conrail with a super bass GP9 dummy, right? And there's Conrail with the early paint scheme before they went to blue. And then here's Union Pacific, two road numbers, 310 and 312, and then again, a super bass dummy. It's not a dummy, right? But it, it doesn't have a cap. All right, it's a B unit, proper term. What else we got? Well, we got ES44s, right? So the heritage units, Burlington Northern Santa Fe, two road numbers plus a super base. Canadian Pacific, two road numbers plus a super base. CSX, two road numbers plus a super base. Norfolk Southern, two road numbers plus a super base. UP, two road numbers plus a super base. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then behind that are the heritage units, right? And they've got a fixed kind of a pneumatic pilot on. It's like a fixed pilot on the front. Central Georgia heritage unit, and there's also a non-powered. We have Valley heritage unit, non-powered. Pennsylvania heritage unit, non-powered. Norfolk and Western heritage unit, non-powered. And Mongahela heritage unit, not powered. And they're going to be doing all of these. ES44s, right? Okay. Now, then CSX is doing their heritage units in the real world, right? I think there's 16 paint schemes out, Amy. And Lionel's going to duplicate all of them over the next few catalogs. So in this catalog, we have CSX in the Baltimore, Ohio heritage. We've got Heritage, thank you. <laughs> Seaboard Heritage is up here, and Chessie System Heritage is up here. So here's five of the 16 in this catalog, powered and unpowered. Okay. SD45s, Santa Fe in the blue, Delaware and Hudson, Southern Pacific, Frisco, Redding, and Rio Grande. And in all of these, there are two powered units and a super base. So five, three road numbers available in all of these SD45s. Terrific. All right, next page. E6s. Oh my. I love these. So this is Baltimore, Ohio. There's an AB set with an extra B, super base B. This is General Motors demonstrator that then went to Seaboard. At the World's Fair, it had a clear size. You could see the insides of the engine. And Lionel's going to duplicate that on this set. Then over here is Southern in the green. And then Milwaukee in the orange and red with the black top. Okay, now we're going to do custom run E6s. Milwaukee in the yellow, the Union Pacific yellow, right? When they were moving... Uh, working with Union Pacific to do passenger cars from the Midwest to California and back. So they painted them yellow. So we're going to do that, road number 15A and 15B in Milwaukee. We're going to do a pair in Louisville and Nashville. One of the engines will be the really, really dark blue, and the other one will be the dark with the whiskers, cream whisker paint scheme in that, in that one. And, so, and we're doing um, Illinois Central in the Panama scheme. Did I get them all? Yep, in the E6. So that's going to be awesome. Beautiful. All right. Then on the next page, two more. They're doing Rock Island, and they're doing kind of these one-off paint schemes on the A units. This one's got the gold nose, and that's got the yellow. I asked them a while back to do custom runs like this, and they said, nope, we're going to do them. So here they are in the catalog. And then they're doing a super base unit in the red and yellow. Now you'll remember, we did a custom run E8 
in the red and yellow, and you could run this super base with our custom run E8s. And then down here is City of San Francisco, AB set with another B, very popular. All right, this is the Al Capone coaches in Rock Island, of course. Looks good. And then they're doing a Burlington with a simulated corrugated side. It's got a little shadowing in the paint to make it look like it's metal. And there's an AB set and then a Super Base B. And then they've got the passenger cars to go with it. And these are 21 inch passenger cars. So there's a Station Sounds Diner, the four car set with the baggage, two coach and an observation, and then another coach and a dome. So these are beautiful. Uh, E6s. All right, next page. SW8. So the SW8, remember, has got a single stack. SW9's got the double stack. This is Detroit Edison, Erie Lackawanna, Weeding and Northern, Texas and Pacific, U.S. Air Force, and uh, Chicago Northwestern. And then we're going to do some custom runs in this. We're going to do Rock Island with the yellow nose, the red and yellow paint scheme. Uh, we're going to do Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western in the Lackawanna dark, black. We're going to do EL in the black. they will go with this, Erie Lackawanna in the black and yellow. And we're going to do nickel plate in the normal nickel plate paint scheme. And, oh, yeah, one more. We're going to do Norfolk and Western in the blue, row number 2107, I think it is. So we're going to do five. Let me count them again. One, two, three, four, five. SW8 custom runs. Next page. U28Cs. These haven't been made in a long, 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 long time. I think the first time was just Pennsylvania. So we've got Conrail, Ellenin in the gray, Pennsylvania, Seaboard, Union Pacific, Southern Pacific, Bloody Nose, and Penn Central. Two road numbers per engine. These are terrific. You're going to want these. Those are great. All right. Now, here's another nickel plate Berkshire. This is road number 779. I've had people writing me wanting this road number. It's in the nickel plate fast freight set. And in the fast freight set, we've got all kinds of great cars, including the hot box reefer is coming back, right? So it plays sound. And it shows the flashing down here as this car is in trouble. So it includes that car. Pretty cool. All right. This is Atomic Energy Commission Glow in the Dark set. They made this a long time ago. And now it's scale sized. Again with um, a GP9. And then you can get another GP9 a dummy, right? The B unit without the cab to go with it. Cool. All right. Ah, Illinois Central City of Miami. Okay. This went to Miami on the Illinois Central out of Chicago, right? And it switched to the LNN and switched to the seaboard and away it went. And uh, this set was, MTH made this set maybe 20 years ago. I don't think Lionel's ever made it. 21-inch um, cars. Uh, it's got a E6 on the front end. That beautiful City of Miami paint scheme. And then there's another two-car set and a Station Sounds Diner. Again, 21-inch cars. We're going to make custom run a second diesel and a matching B unit, Super Base B unit. Those are available on our website. So you can get the City of Miami set all the extra cars, and you can get a second engine and uh, a B unit. Cool. All right. Here are more of the passenger cars with the covered vestibule. Safety for the passengers. Here's a pair in New York Central. You can add them to the set you've already got, and a pair in Pennsylvania. We've got some Looney Tunes freight cars, right? These are scale-sized. You remember the Looney Tunes? Cool. 
And then these are the hot box reefers, right? And they play sound, they have flickering lights, they have smoke, there's crew dialogue as we're trying to deal with uh, this reefer that has a defect. And we're doing Santa Fe, Fruit Growers Express, New York Central, and UP. So you can mix them into strings of reefers you already have. They're bringing back some milk cars, two prototypical ones, Erie and the Dixie line here. And then they're doing one for O'Leary Dairy and one for Strasburg. And I think we're going to do a custom run or two in the milk cars. we got to work that out. I haven't done that yet. What else? Okay, these are the Union Pacific World War II cars. We announced them. They announced them in the catalog 2023 Volume 2. The first ones haven't arrived yet. Here are um, five more, one, two, three, four more sets, three-car sets of the Union Pacific. So on one side, it, it's the car is plain, and the other side, it's got this World War II billboard. And to go with it is a Freight Sounds box car and a new caboose with the flag on it. Union Pacific World War II PS1 Freight Sounds or PS1 box car sets. Very popular. Those are pretty cool. Uh, next page. Ah. Freight Sounds boxcars. Here's one for Chessie. Here's one for Burlington. Oh, and there's some more over here. So here's another Friendship Train car. Lackawanna, Phoebe Snow. You remember the Friendship Train, right? That we sent uh, food to Europe, right? And they've made Friendship Trains a couple catalogs back. It's a Great Northern, Illinois Central, Go, Gulf, and RF&P. So these are available Freight Sounds PS1 boxcars. They're cool. They run down the track and give you a lot of extra sound. Uh, AK Tank Cars. Uh, this asphalt, asphalt company from Texas, Pennsylvania, Beehive, Stauffer Chemical, and Union Oil. And then they're doing flat cars with 20-foot trailers again. Oh, my. These have never done before. This is Katie, I love that one, and REA, Southern Pacific, and Texas and Pacific. And then we're going to do a custom run in Monon with two different trailers. It'll be terrific. In the TOFC, trailer on flat car, flat cars. All right, next page. PS2 covered hoppers. So there's six road names here, Conrail, Winchester and Western, Illinois Central, Chicago Northwestern, Southern Pacific, and Great Northern. And because Lionel's got the ability to do graffiti on cars, they decided to come over here and do the same cars again, weathered, and this one's got graffiti. So this is coming from Lionel, already weathered. $10 more for a weathered car. PS2 weathered covered hoppers. What else? Oh, yeah, cabooses. Two cabooses in here. The CA1 is over here. Northern Pacific, dropping my leg. Union Pacific. Two, three Union Pacific. And Western Pacific down here. Beautiful. And then the N6Bs, Delaware and Hudson, Detroit, Toledo, and Ironton. Strasburg, Lionel Lines, Vision Line, Caboose in uh, Pennsylvania, and another one in Pennsylvania. And the Vision Line Cabooses have electric couplers. They can do the track IR equipped, and their rail sounds equipped. All right. On the back, steel side reefers. I believe these are weaver tooling. Um, that Lionel acquired. It's a little bit less expensive car. Two road numbers each, Bangor and Aroostock, Central Georgia, Norfolk Southern, and Sioux Line. And then on the Woodside Reefers against, again, old Weaver tooling, Atlanta and Pacific, Meyer and Cornbloom, Western Pacific, and Swifts Premium. Two road numbers per car. These are very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, hoppers. Oh, first is the 50K tank cars. They haven't made these in a long time. 
You can get a three pack and an individual car. So four road numbers available per road name, ADM, BNSF, Cargill, and GATX. Again, this is old Weaver tooling, so it's got a good price point. And then AAR two bay hoppers. In each hopper, there's a single car and then two three packs. You can get up to seven road numbers. Chesapeake and Ohio, Erie, Nickel Plate Road, and Milwaukee. And that is it for the signature part of the catalog. We'll look at Christmas next. Thanks for watching. Hey, let's take a look at the Polar Express items in the new Lionel catalog. They're showing three Berkshires. There's a Lionel store exclusive right here, 1225, what they call a plasma coat. It looks like kind of an icy coat on the engine blue and then they have polar express 1225 again in the scale engine o scale engine and then a special edition red so it looks very christmasy and then with that are the cars right so there's two observation cars they both have the round rear observation deck as you saw in the movie one has snow on the roof and one's black so whatever sets you've got you can get whichever one you want to go with your set and then below, the abandoned toy car, the Polar Express Combine, the Polar Express Baggage Car, the Express Coach, and the Express Diner. So these cars are available for the Polar Express for Christmas, right? And then on the next page is the, is the smaller set, right? This is not scale size. So here's a 20th anniversary Lion Chief set with the remote, extra cars, and then there's a Polar Express 20, 20th Anniversary Illuminated Box Car right here. Pretty cool. And then on the next page, here's a separate sale Polar Express Berkshire engine, Lion Chief. There's also a Lion Chief Doodle Bug I'm sorry, that's a Genesis. Doodlebug's up here. And then also a Speeder. Polar Express Speeder. And then on the next page, 20th anniversary wind-up hand car that will run on the track. Another wind-up hand car. And then you can do, get a personalized box car. Order from Lionel, and then also there's a present transport car. This is new. Pretty cool. And then on the next page, there's a house, two water towers, a freight terminal. These are the HO cars that are available, and the S gate car that's available, and the S gauge box car. Polar Express from Lionel. Pretty cool. We haven't had these for a while. That's terrific.